everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be doing my first review. Um, I am really excited. I wanted to film a video for you guys today and so I thought that I would review something that I just got and I actually used it in my last tutorial. So if you guys don't know what it is, I am reviewing the Too Faced A La Mode palette and so yeah let's just get into it I guess so I just recently purchased this and I don't have any of Too Faced eyeshadow products or do I have any of their products? so I don't have any of their eyeshadows this is the first palette that I've bought from them and so far I've done a couple of looks with it and I love it the colors are so pretty um, and they're just fun and different. They're different than what I have um, in my other palettes. I don't really don't have that many palettes, and that's one of the reasons why I went out and bought this one, especially because this is limited edition, and so I figured, you know what? I don't have any eyeshadows from them, so why not, right? I mean, might as well. So this has nine different eyeshadows, and um, they have three really, really pretty highlight colors, and then it's got three really like neutral warm colors and then three darker colors to put in the crease specifically. These colors tend to be more warmer and I feel like warmer colors tend to work on more skin tones and so I know that these go, these colors go with multiple different um, eye colors. I have brown eyes and I am loving all of these colors. I have yet to play with the pink and the blue. So I'm not necessarily sure what I'm going to do with that. They give you a little, in all of Too Faced's palettes, they give you a little card that kind of tells you what they would do for each of the different looks. So there's three different looks that you can create in this palette. They have the daytime look, the classic look, and then the fashion look. And so they just do three different looks on a little card that they give you when you purchase the palette to kind of show you how they would use um, how they would use the eyeshadows and um, how they would put them all together. So the first one is more of a copper color and then a really pretty brown color. Um, and then this is like a sparkly white frosty color. And then this one is more of a, um, of a tan color and then they have a peach color which is absolutely gorgeous. And this one almost looks like an olive color, but it's not. It's more of like a it's more of like a light brown, but not light. I don't know, it's really hard to explain. I'll show you in the swatches. And then this is just a really pretty, pretty like frosty white ice color, and then hot pink and a really pretty navy blue. And I feel like they did a really good job at trying to keep this very versatile and very open to multiple different eye colors. Um, the formula itself, I have noticed, isn't as pigmented as some of my other palettes and isn't as pigmented as it comes out on um, in the palette, which is kind of a bummer. But, I mean, the colors are still absolutely gorgeous and nothing like I have in my collection. And so I still really like it and I would definitely, I'm definitely glad that I purchased this and I would definitely recommend it. There is a little bit of fallout because you do have to get a lot of product and pack it on your lid in order for the color to really show up, especially with these colors right here in the center. All of these colors do have a harder time showing up on the lid, which is a bummer, but I mean they're still absolutely gorgeous and I still, sorry as I flash you, again. I still absolutely love these colors and I love this palette and I just love playing with it and it's just so pretty and so I guess I'll just show you swatches now. So this is what the palette looks like up close. It's just really pretty, very sleek packaging. Um, this is metal or tin, I don't really know, it's probably not metal but it's tin. Um, super super cute outside design kind of gives it a French feel or I kind of think it gives it more of like a Middle Eastern like Indian feel almost um, but they're going for more French feel um, so the names of the shadows are Saint Tropez which looks like that 
And then they have Kanas, which I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. And then they have Soleil. So those are the three colors in the first daytime look, and they're just really, really pretty. Very nice copper, orange, um, brown under or brown mix to it. And then in the classic one, it goes Riviera, which is that one right there. And then Jardin, which is that really pretty peach color right there. And then Cote d'Azur which I know I'm totally screwing up that name. It looks more olive in the pan, but on my arm, it definitely comes out more of like a, almost like a really, really, really dark taupe color, I guess. So, and then for the fashion look, you've got that one, which is white, like way whiter than all of the other ones. And then you've got your hot pink. Wow, that's really, yep. And then you've got, oh, sorry. <laughs> the white is called Le Crocette. I'm totally butchering that name. And then the pink is called Monaco. And then this blue is called De L'Amour. So, but they're really pretty. They seem really easy to blend, which is really, really nice. So, yeah, that is the palette. And so I'm just really excited to continue playing with this palette and just kind of letting you guys know what I think as I'm continuing to play with it. And, um, yeah, and I think that's about it. Um, if you guys like seeing reviews, let me know by liking this video, giving it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel to see more makeup tutorials and reviews and uh, fashion lookbooks, which one will be coming soon. I promise I'm trying to get one up. I'm trying to see if my friend can help me film one for you guys because I have so many cute outfits that I just love throwing together for summer. And summer is one of my favorite times because I love skirts and I love dresses and I have a piece of toilet paper in my hand. I'm just not gonna... Yep. Um, but summer and spring are one of my favorite times of the summer. Um, well, summer is summer and one of my favorite times of the year. And so um, a lookbook will be coming to you soon, which I am really excited about. And so please subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Okay, bye.